It was the dream and payday of a lifetime for 456 people, which turned quickly into a 15-hour nightmare. Here's how reality and fiction collided on Netflix's Squid Game The Challenge. The Challenge was sold as the ultimate reality show cash grab, with more than $4.5 million at stake. But what was supposed to be a two-hour shoot for the 456 contestants involved allegedly wound up evolving into something much more sinister and Squid Game-like than anyone could have ever imagined. First announced in June 2022, Netflix's reality competition adaptation of its South Korean smash hit Squid Game was originally touted as a real-life take on the popular survival drama. Without all the killing and struggling to survive, of course. But not everything was as it seemed, or advertised, according to numerous players. Speaking to Variety in an explosive new article, these contestants exposed the dark truth behind Squid Game The Challenge and the unacceptable playing environments that the streaming giant allegedly provided, including reports of dangerous conditions, an unbearable filming schedule, and multiple trips to the hospital. A UK player identified as Marlene told Variety, The conditions were absolutely inhumane and had nothing to do with the game. According to her and others who spoke to Variety, multiple things about the game environment were either changed or not as advertised. As soon as the red light green light game started, people were told they couldn't have coats on, and that their iconic Squid Game tracksuit jackets must be open at all times. It was reportedly around 0 degrees Celsius or 32 degrees Fahrenheit on the day of filming. A contestant identified as John said, This is not a Bear Grylls survival show. If they had told us it was going to be that cold, no one would have gone through with it. And Marlene added, It's not like we signed up for Survivor or Naked and Afraid. According to Netflix, it was in fact very cold on set that day, but the company said in a statement to Variety that, quote, the participants were prepared for that. In a story from January 2022, contestants told The Sun that the frigid conditions had people dropping left and right, with one calling it a war zone. And what made everything worse was how long they were all forced to play the first game. Preparations for the first game are complete. According to contestants who spoke to Variety, the entire red light green light game took upwards of seven hours to shoot for some people and another eight hours of prep time, all in the freezing cold. Initially, the freeze or standstill times for the game were promised to be around two minutes long. But that number was quickly changed to 10 minutes and then 15 minutes. The player identified as Marlene said she had to wait more than 25 minutes during one round. Sources at Netflix confirmed the time increase and claimed it was for independent adjudicators to, quote, assess the gameplay, Marlene said. The second time the song played, I saw it in my left peripheral vision that this girl was swaying. Then she just buckled and you could hear her head actually hit the ground. But then someone came on the microphone and said to hold our positions because the game is not paused. After that, people were dropping like flies. Another player, identified as Jenny, also from the UK, told Variety that the experience was brutal. I've never been that cold for that long a period in my life. It was ridiculous. According to her, water wasn't even allowed during the hours-long shoes. One player recalled to the sun, even if hypothermia kicked in then, people were willing to stay for as long as possible because a lot of money was on the line. Too many were determined not to move, so they stood there for far too long. A total of 11 people were allegedly treated by medics. Several contestants were said to have fainted or collapsed on set due to the allegedly inhumane conditions and intense rules. One anonymous participant told The Sun, There were people arriving thinking they were going to be millionaires, but they left in tears. People were getting carried out by medics, but we couldn't say anything. If you talk, then you're out. We ended up standing there for 30 minutes between takes. Some were crawling by the end. At least one was carried out on a stretcher. Sources close to the production reportedly denied that medics were called 11 times when contacted by Variety. But they did confirm to The Sun that at least three people who took part in Squid Game The Challenge received medical treatment. According to show insiders, not allowing breaks during filming is standard practice. Netflix insists that any claims of serious injury are untrue, along with the allegations of inhumane conditions. All the contestants want from the streaming network is some accountability. Contestant Jenny told Variety, Take some responsibility for the fact that you were ill-prepared for this kind of thing, with this number of people. A television executive who spoke to Variety under the condition of anonymity concluded, it sounds like this got completely out of control.